So how far is too far? Question of the day. That is a big question, an important question, a question I was asking when I was young as well. And uh, there aren't any definite answers, except the Bible is very clear. Flee sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside his body, but he who sins sexually violates the sacredness of his own body. So there is, there is a definite boundary, but there's a lot before that boundary, right? And it's like, oh, it's a gray area, how far can I go? Um, I, I kind of have to keep in mind in my single years, if I don't marry this person, this is somebody else's future spouse. So I have to treat that person in a way that I wouldn't be ashamed of if I was to see them again. I wouldn't be ashamed if I met their spouse one day. A uh, little tricky. So for me, I used to think kissing was fine in my teenage years. And then later I decided that that also was something I wanted to keep for my husband. So uh, in those years of singleness and courting, um, no, no, no kisses for me. Lots of kisses on the cheek, lots of cuddling, lots of hand holding, but uh, saving up as much as I could for marriage. So you have to work out what's right for you. I mean, physical touch is huge for me and we're not all wired the same. You know, guys and girls are, even within girls, they're not all wired the same. We're not all guys are the same in the way they're wired. For a highly sensitive person, like I am in terms of sensory sensitive, touch is a huge part of how I fall in love. So I had to be guarded in that area and I, I learned years later in terms of neuroscience it's fascinating that oxytocin is released in the female brain even during a 20 second hug so feelings of love and trust for someone can be there even if they're not worthy of love and trust so you have to be careful who you let in your space who you let touch you make sure girls that he's worthy of love and trust before you fall for him chemically your brain can be hijacked by oxytocin which is the I love you bonding hormone that a mother produces when she gives birth to her baby and breastfeeds her baby. It's this powerful bond. So we need to be careful about who we let in that space. Give us wisdom, God, in that area. But in terms of working out how far is too far, that's between you and God. And what you might be comfortable doing um, might be different to someone else. And that's totally fine. It's not very specific in the word of God as to what you can do and what you can't. So that's between you and God and, and hopefully date someone with the same boundaries, with the same desires of uh, what is appropriate, if that makes sense. Because there's always a tug of war, you know, a power struggle if you're not on the same page. So in terms of how far is too far, you have to work that one out yourself, I'm sorry. But I, I would recommend keep your clothes on and don't get horizontal. <laughs> Blessings.